Good morning, Northtown. I'm Tyler Lovelace. And I'm Michael Foster. Today is Wednesday, October 3rd. Today we'll look at sports, space, and how you can help the fall musical. All on NTV News. To make sure you can keep up with the buzz in our, new bu in our buildings, we take a deeper look in a segment called What's Buzzing Around Northtown. Homecoming week has come to an end, so th congratulations to Queen Chandler Prater and King C.J. Price. Do you have any neckties that you just don't wear anymore? Over the next couple weeks, the North Kansas City High School Theater Department is gathering used neckties for the fall musical Pippin. They need 15 to 30 per cast member. They ask for as many bright colors, fun patterns, and stripes as possible. So clean out your closets, because the more colorful and interesting, the better. You can bring ties to Mr. Jackson in the South Campus. We have a new activities director here at Northtown, Mr. Garrison, and wanted to take the time to get to know him better. We have a lot of new faces at Northtown this year. One of them is Mr. Garrison, our new athletic director. He grew up in Chillicothe, Missouri, which is a small town in the north of Missouri. Mr. Garrison went to college at the University of Missouri for his bachelor's in business, education, and his master's in specialist in administration from Northwest Missouri State. Mr. Garrison has had a lot of experience in coaching and athletic directing. Here is a summary of his career. I started my career back in my hometown uh, at Chillicothe where I was a business teacher and a coach for five years. Uh, then I went to Excelsior Springs as a head basketball coach for three years. Uh, then moved on to Park Hill High School where I was a head basketball coach uh, for eight years. Uh, and then I moved to administration at Winnetonka High School and then uh, I'm, I'm a Northtown Hornet now. Mr. Garrison's job is to overlook our school's sports and activities. This is his plan for our athletic department. You know, I, I think my job is just to do everything I can to help our coaches and our students be successful. Uh, you know, we have some great people that are leading our programs and I want to do everything I can to, to help them and, and uh, put them in a position to succeed. Mr. Garrison is extremely excited to be a faculty member at Northtown, and he believes many things make Northtown great. You know, Northtown has a great tradition and great pride. You know, if you ever meet someone who graduated from this high school, you know, they speak very highly of it. Uh, I think one of the things that's great is the community that we have. Uh, even though we're in a big city, it kind of has a, a small town feel to it. We are very excited to have Mr. Garrison at Northtown this year and for many years to come. It will be very exciting to see what our sports and activities will accomplish with his help. Welcome to Northtown, Mr. Garrison. Seniors, your Jostens order form for graduation announcements, caps, and gowns is due Thursday during lunch, as well as a $60 deposit. Also, TSA will have a meeting tonight from 2.40 to 4 in Norclay 832. The Clay County Health Department will be at Northtown on October 25th to provide immunizations to all juniors that are interested. If you have any questions, see the school nurse. To all girls interested in playing basketball this season, there will be an open gym this Thursday from 3 to 4.30 in, Nor in the Norclay Gym. If you are an avid club, be aware that there will not be Eastgate tutoring this week. Hornet Pride, a club designed to connect high schoolers with elementary and middle schoolers, will be accepting applications through Tuesday, October 9th. For the application, email Mrs. Washington, and for questions, you can also see Mrs. Washington in South Campus. NKC football is currently 6-0 after an exciting game against Truman on Friday. They did so good that they broke the scoreboard. The final score was 40-0. Senior C.J. Price is currently ranked first in the KC area for yards rushing and touchdowns. The Hornets play at home again on Friday against Hickman. The girls' tennis season has come to a close. Varsity is back from their exciting Joplin trip and on to districts this week. Congrats on a great 2018 season. The team bank will be on Wednesday, October 10th at 6 p.m. The girls' golf season has also come to an end. They started districts Monday. 
Congratulations, ladies, on a great season. Boys soccer was undefeated in the month of September. JV had a record of 7-0 and 1. Uh, varsity had a record of 8-0. Varsity beat Park Hill on Monday and plays Smithville tonight. Space. It is the final frontier. It is also the focus of a new out-of-this-world discovery. More on your inf internet highlight. The European Space Agency just released an eerie image that is circling around the online science community. It is an image that shows the landscape of the comet 67PCG, taken in, the 20, in 2014 during the Rosetta mission. This comet was the first site of the first ever comet landing, done so by the Philae probe. Scientists can now use this picture and the data taken by the probe to do more research on this and other relatively unknown cosmic objects. And there's our sh show for today, Northtown. To find more NTV ep episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NTV, at NKCHS. To stay up to date on everything that's buzzing around Northtown, follow us on Twitter at Northtown News. And for photos and announcements, you can find us and like us on Facebook. Thanks for NKC watching. Journalism. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Northtown. Keep it classy. It's a great day to be a Hornet. <laughs> <laughs>